uptown girl. She's been living in an uptown world. Oh, do do dee dee boo do boo boo boo. I don't know, I don't know. I'm going to try for an uptown girl. My uptown girl. You know I'm in love with an uptown girl. She's been living in an uptown Oh, shoot. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Hi everyone. Hi Rachel. Hi Instagram. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna transport. It's gonna be a little ugly for a second, but uh, it's all gonna be cool. Hold on, Instagram. Everything's gonna be cool. I'm just gonna transform into. Hey, hey, Eb Samuel. Hi, Eb Samuel. Eb Samuel's here. And Sarah into the studio, and then we're gonna zip over and work out. Okay, everything's cool. All right. Okay. A little awkward beginning to today. Well, that's okay. You guys understand? All right. My goodness. I had to move to inside for various reasons. Let's see if we can get this thing set up. Wow, light's a little funky today. All right, sorry folks, a little behind the eight ball. All right, let me pin this vid here. Man. All right. If I can't get, can't get Instagram to do its thing right, I might have to sign off and just do a Zoom here. Lighting is gone off. Okay, guys. Instagram's out. Not gonna work today. See you guys Monday if we uh, get it set Monday. Take care. Delete the video, not happening. All right. Sorry, it's taking so long to get set up here. We just had to do it last minute. Ooh. And now the light's messed up. Anyway. This is what we got today. Hey, yeah, there we go. You can see all of them now. All right. Hello, everybody. Good to see you. Let's go right and left with a head. Let's get that in. Get that going. Oh. Oh. Left and right. Nice and easy. Wake up that transverse plane, or rather frontal plane there. And let's go forward and back. Here we go. And let's take it in a circle. And let's go ahead and reverse that. Mm. Nice, take the shoulders in a big circle going back. And take the shoulders in a big circle going forward. This is just silhouette today in boot camp, right? Big circles going back with the arms. Breathing. Keep cranking through that. And let's go forward. Nice job. Okay, go off grip, bring the arms back, get them stretched back and forth. OK, 
Couple more. All right, nice job. Good, let's stick there to the big circle. Glute squeeze in the front. Going through all the joints here. Let's go the other direction. All right, nice job. Good, let's take the feet, tip them inside and outside. This is good. This is good. This is good. This is good. Go ahead and circle. Reverse directions. Circle going inside. One foot foot. And circle going the other way. All right, good job. Let's go into this. Take the legs, um, one leg forward, one leg back. My front foot is 44, my back foot is 45. Take the hips in a circle as you do that. So we're gonna kind of lunge here. It's hard to see with the weird lighting here, but this is the idea. Right here. Circle and then circle the other direction. So we're warming up that hip on the back leg. All right, let's switch that up. Other leg forward, circle, and go the other way. All right, good. Stand, take a heel grab to the butt, pull, and pull, and pull, and pull, pull, and pull, and pull. Pull and pull and pull and pull and pull and externally rotate two, three, four, five. Your pace, right? <coughs> I'm pretty warmed up at this point, so I can move pretty fast, but if you're just getting going this morning, take it a little slower. Okay, nice job, good. Now, stiff leg deadlift, I'm always modifying this one, um, but what I've discovered recently is if you reach for a point in front of your standing leg, or actually to the outside slightly of your standing leg, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pretend like there's a, like a traffic cone right here to my right side. Then I'm gonna stand on the right foot, I'm gonna reach for the top of that traffic cone with my left hand. That's gonna keep my back hip in the right orientation. Then right hand reaches toward the traffic cone to the outside of the left leg, right? So it's a point a couple feet off the ground, just outside of the standing leg. And that is what lets me, it helps me keep that back hip in the right orientation. Is that a warm up there? Keep moving. Running through it. Couple more. Okay, nice job. Let's do just a little easy bouncing. Keep working on that. I'm gonna get this messy desk out of the way. Nice and crazy to see a mess in the screen. Little jumping up and down. Easy, easy. It's a little better. As you do that, soften through the uh, wrists. and let's shake the hands just a little bit. Little shake there, get those wrists going. Little movement left and right now. Little jump left and right. Keep playing with that. Let's see if we can get a light so I can get a little bit of a better look here. Yeah, this indoor lighting is pretty bad, but there we go. That's just what we have today. So what we have, we improvise, we overcome, we overcome, we adapt. This is what we have. Okay, here's what I want now. We need a chair for the next thing, okay? Just a regular kind of flat back chair. I'm gonna work a plyometric jump off the chair, okay? So you're just gonna have a seat in a normal little chair like this. You want the feet 
just sitting in front of you in a normal manner, okay? Again, I'm going to describe this because I realize that it's really hard to see and that sucks, but there we go. It's just what we have. That's no better. All right. All right, the light sucks, just how it is. So the feet go right next to the, the, the feet of your uh, chair. From there, all you're going to do is you're going to come up and you're going to jump, okay? So from this position, we come up and jump, okay? Sit on down, repeat that. Jump from that seated position. Coming down, jump. All right, let's repeat that. Give me about 15 more seconds, that few more reps. Push. Hop. Land. Good. Couple more. Here we go. Good. Last one. Good. All right. Nice work. Working that in with an ab move here. Get yourself a pad. We got our pad here. Okay. Now, what we're going to do with the, uh, with the ab move is we're going to do a slow lowering of the legs. Okay. So it's like a hollow hold. We're in a hollow hold position. Lower back crushes onto the floor. Okay. Legs go here up. Hands go here up overhead. Ribs knit in just like usual, right? Everything's the same. All I want, instead of going fast, I want you to go slow. Keep that lower back on the ground and then bring it back up. Okay? So it's crazy slow down as you breathe out slowly. Crazy slow, bring it up. Crazy slow, low as you can, keeping the lower back on the ground. What's great about this pace is you can really check and make sure that the lower back is staying stuck to the ground as you work, okay? Let's keep going about another 20 seconds of this. So lower them down, take your time, make sure that lower back is stuck to the ground the whole time. All right, this is good. Yes, everyone's looking good. Man, you guys have better lighting than me. It's awesome. All right. Keep going almost there. <coughs> Good. Stop there. Nice job. Good. Let's go back. Okay. Let's mix it up a little bit. I'm going to go into a leg move right now. Okay. So what I want to do is I want to go into a, um, a um, forward lunge, reverse lunge. Forward lunge, reverse lunge. So we were doing side lunge yesterday. Now we're going to do a forward lunge, reverse lunge. So remember to step over the cap, right? Take right leg. We step back so you can see. Take right leg, step it forward into that forward lunge, okay? Then same leg steps back into reverse lunge, okay? Then second leg, forward lunge, second leg, reverse lunge, okay? Let's cycle through that. First forward, first back, second forward, second back. Here we go. Forward, back. Then forward of the leg, back of the leg. Keep going. First leg, and back, and second leg, and back. We're going to full minute, right? So we got lots of sagittal movement here, forward and back. See how well, see how well balanced you can be on this, okay? Keep your nice form in the box, okay? Get your stability left to right. If you need something to hold on to to keep your balance optimally, then go ahead and do that. That's fine. We want to have nice balance. We want to feel like we are... Um, Work in the legs, right? But the concern isn't, oh my gosh, I'm gonna fall. So if you have any problems with balance, hold on to something. It's, it's totally fine. Let's keep going 10 more seconds. I'm gonna cycle this so through these three, three, these three again. Uh, plyometrics, abs, legs. All right, time, good job. Okay, back to chair. Back to chair. You got your chair here, right? Light is actually getting a little bit more <laughs> dealable here. So practice good posture here, right? Bring the feet close to the feet of the chair, and ready, we're gonna jump up, off the, off the ground, jump. Okay, so it's not stand and then jump, it's jump right off the floor, okay? Ready? Good, here we go. And you can use the arms just like you would in a regular jump. All right, let's keep going. Give me 10 more seconds. Doesn't matter how many you get, you want them to all be maximally uh, maximal effort. Good. I'm seeing some good effort there. It's awesome. Land soft. Land soft like a ninja. Good. Stop. Nice. Okay. Back to our abs. Back to the abs. Here we go. Here's our pad, right? 
Again, you can see it. It's a combination of completely dark and totally blinding. Okay, so bring the legs up 90 degrees, best you can. Right now, if this is really hard, you could just do slow lowering with one leg, right? That works too, okay? So work with what you can. Take it down slow. Press the lower back in, then bring it up. Take it down slow. Control that. Yes. Close as you can to the ground, keep the lower back on the ground. Take it down. Slow. Then bring it up. Take it down. Slow. Bring it up. Keep working just like that. Just like that. Let's keep going. Working hard. So this, the slowness does a couple things. Eccentric force. Eccentric, meaning lowering. The muscle is lengthening under tension. That's going to help build that muscle. It's also going to help you make... <laughs> It's going to help you be a little sore tomorrow, which is fine. Good. Stop right there. Nice job. Good. Back to our legs, right? Forward lunge, reverse lunge. Forward lunge, reverse lunge. So here we go. Ready, standing. Start with the opposite leg this time. Come forward. Then that leg steps back. Now what I like about this, if you're using your mat, is you can step over it when it's laid out kind of horizontally. And you can do that either in front of you or behind you, right? So either I can stand in front of the mat like I'm doing, or I can stand behind the mat. Either one, what I want to do is on that lunge, either on the reverse lunge or the forward lunge, I want that back knee to actually touch the mat. That's the idea. Actually, to use the mat as a guide, as, as feedback to tell you, okay, I'm at the right depth, okay? You can't do it in both directions. I suppose, I suppose you could if you, if you oriented your mat in a different way, you had a really wide mat. But that's a really good thing to be able to step over the mat, either forward or back, and get contact with that knee. Okay? Let's keep going. Let's, get, let's keep going 15 more seconds on this. We'll really work the legs here nicely, and we get our final round. This is good. We're salvaging this class. <laughs> yeah, I had to give up on Instagram because the light was so bad. All right, let's keep going. Five seconds. Three, two, one. Done. Good. Back to chair. Back to chair. So we're going to apply a lunge to our box jump, okay? Box jump. So this is good. All right, so have yourself a seat. Nice, good posture. Actually, it's a good, pra good practice for posture. It's like, can I jump, right? If I can jump from the position that I'm in, then my posture is good. All right, here we go. Ready, set, jump. Land soft, right? Land soft. One move. One strong move. Land soft, pushing hard through those feet. How much height you got? Keep going. Ten more seconds, right? Doesn't matter how many reps you get. You want them to look good. You want them to land soft. You want those knees to stay straight. Don't let them buckle in, okay? So if you're buckling in, don't jump as high. Don't put as much force in. Good. Stop right there. That's good. All right. Chair to the side. Back to core. This is a good sequence, right? Bring it up. We got down. We got power. We got core all together. All right. So here we go. Same thing. If you just if you need one leg, do one leg. If you can do two, do two. Breathe out as those legs come down. Breathe in as you come up. Breathe out. Breathe in. Repeat that. Breathe out. Breathe in. Now look. And with your legs, have your legs. Strongly, your, your feet pull back in that flexed position. We want that flexed position. So we get a little stretch of the hamstrings in this extended position. Let's keep going on this guy for another 15 seconds, all right? Really working those abs. Really insist that that lower back stay on the ground. That's really important. If it's coming up, then you're really, you're working this joint, your lumbar joints, rather than at the hip joint. We want to get that hip joint really isolated. The ability to stay stable through here while moving through the joints, moving through the hip joints, the shoulder joints, the arms, that is what the core does. Good, stop there, good job. Okay, back to our legs. Final one on the legs, forward lunge, reverse lunge, one side, then the other side. Again, orient yourself so your back knee touches either on the forward lunge or the back lunge, touches the mat, okay? Here we go, let's start. Three, two, one, forward lunge, and reverse lunge. And I realize I'm stepping out of camera here, I'm getting some grief from that for some people. There's just not a wide enough lens here. I could stay way, way back, and then you couldn't see me, and I have to put a hole in the back wall. So part of it, you, I, I just go out, of, go out of frame here. But you see what I'm doing? I'm doing a forward lunge. 
I can show you from the side if you need to. That's a forward lunge, all right? Keep this going. We're gonna keep cycling through four different moves, forward and reverse. So forward lunge and reverse lunge have different effects, subtly different effects. The reverse lunge is gonna give that kick flexor a little stretch and it's gonna work that glute a little bit more. The forward lunge is gonna work your deceleration, ability to stop, which is what we all need. Let's keep going 14 more seconds. Nice and strong. I'm out of breath and I'm barely doing anything. So you guys are doing great. Five seconds to go. Here we go. Three, two, one. Right there, let's stop. Nice job, good. Take a breath, have a drink of water. That's, very, that's all very good. We did three sets, three sets of everything. That's awesome. All right, good, good job. Okay, so next thing, where are we? What time? 8.22, good job. Get 18 minutes to go, no problem. Okay, let's do, um, let's go into a back movement, okay? It's gonna be a Superman move. Today, I don't even think we use any weights at all. We'll see. We're gonna Superman move. We're gonna do a, um, a bridge. I'm going to do a push-up variation, okay? To be these three, okay? So Superman, haven't touched these guys in a while. This is the handcuffs variation. This is the handcuffs, okay? So you're lying prone. Your feet are in runner position. In other words, you're on the balls of your feet, okay? Legs are standing. You see me okay? Probably not so good. But let me just describe this. On your, on your front, thumbs are up, arms are extended forward like Superman, okay? You take the head, you point it directly toward the ground, right? Don't crane the neck forward like that, or crane the neck back. Now take the arm, big swoops down by your side, thumbs out, palms out, squeeze the armpits, then take the hands, flip them over, and put them into your lower back. This is handcuffs. Then reverse that move back, palms out, extend the arms overhead once again. That's one rep. Here we go. Squeeze it, turn it over, then here, then forward, okay? There's the move. Handcuffs, Superman. Superman handcuffs. I don't know, that's some kind of bizarre s and fantasy, but there we are, okay? So arms forward, lift them up high, take them here, squeeze under the armpits, then flip them over under the, into the lower back, here and up, right? We're working these extensor muscles of the upper back, really important. Again, you should be prone on your stomach, okay? I guess some of you, you can do, you can do a variation of this where you're here, right? But you're really not working its gravity in the right way. You want to be here in the, um, in the prone position. All right, let's keep going. 15 seconds to go. Prone Superman, prone Superman. All right, this is good. John Short's not here. This is one of his favorites. He loves this one. Okay, good. <coughs> nice. So from there, flip over onto the back. This is a whole series on the mat, so no one has to come up and down, okay? So here we go. We're gonna do the old rockets. So go ahead and lie down on your back. Bring the feet close to your butt, okay? So we're standing here. Take one leg right in the air. Bring this leg as far this way as you can. Now, it doesn't matter if it's straight. And this one doesn't matter. You can have a little bend. Now I'm gonna push through the heel of my supporting leg. Then I'm gonna lower down, place that, that foot down, take that foot up, push as high as I can, okay? Knee to chest, push, okay? Keep working just like that, alternating sides, push. Want a lot of extension. Now, you can play with the position of your foot relative to your torso. It can be a little further out, it can be a little closer in. It doesn't really matter. If it's really close in, sometimes like I'm feeling a lot of action in my lower back, I really want to feel it more in my glute and my hamstring. So if I bring the foot a little forward, I go, okay, there it is. I've got a little bit more work through that hamstring. Okay, so you do what you need to do to make the movement feel right for you, okay? Again, as always, it is your workout. It's not my workout, not someone else's, it's yours. So you wanna feel this in the right place. And then you need to adjust the movement a little bit to make that work, do so, all right? Let's keep going, five more seconds, we're almost there. We're gonna go into a push-up variation, all right? Three, two, one, done, nice job, okay. Push-up variation, here it is. Now I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna show you, uh, Super hard, okay? In case some people are out there who want to do super hard. If you want to do a little bit easier, I've got my, I'm gonna elevate my feet on this, on this chair here. If you want to, if you'd rather elevate your hands, that makes it easier. Or if you'd rather just do it flat, that makes it uh, kind of medium, all right? So you make the call. What I'm gonna do, elevate the feet or elevate the hands. No shame either way. 
I'm going to take it down, touch my chest, come up halfway, go down all the way, then come up all the way. So it's a one and a half push-up, all right? One and a half push-up. I'm going to do the same if I've got my desk, right, and I'm elevating my hands. One and a half, okay? Whatever you can do to make the movement look and feel right, that's what you want to do. Don't go for a more advanced version that you can't handle, okay? Let's keep going. 15 more seconds of this. Don't want to kill it on push-ups, okay? One and a half, okay? Again, if you're super strong, slow down, bust up, slow down, bust all the way up, okay? If you're not so advanced, again, just take your time. Up and down with your hands elevated, okay? Good, that's nice on that one, good. There's our three moves, okay? We got our handcuffs, we got our hip extension, we got a push-up, okay? So, back to handcuffs, okay? You are prone on the floor, prone on your stomach, on your chest, okay? Feet are in runner's position. I'm down here, just like this. I got my hands forward, thumbs are up, palms facing one another. Looking toward the floor, not gonna overstrain the back of my neck. I'm gonna take it here to the side, squeeze underneath my armpits, then bring the hands behind my lower back, then flip it, and back again, okay? The key, you should feel those upper back muscles really rippling and doing their thing, okay? You want to take your time on this one. You don't want to make it a fast movement. Take your time. This is a great movement to improve posture, to improve the general health of the shoulders, neck, upper back. You should feel good after this one. You should definitely feel the muscles burning and turning on, but we want to make sure that, uh, that, we, that we fire those guys up. That's important for posture. Good. Let's keep going. 20 more seconds in this. Really take your time. Squeeze it. Flip it over. Get in that lower back. Then flip it back over and out and then bring the arms up and overhead. Prone, fighting gravity, right? Firing up those muscles in the rear delts between the shoulder blades. Nice job, three, two, one, done on that, good. Here we go, onto the back, alternating hip extension. Here we go. So, find a position that works right for you on this, on this guy. Now look, if you wanna just do two leg hip extension and really get into those glutes, you can. That works well too. It's just a little more advanced to do single leg push. Okay, single leg push. All right. So you make the call, you do your version. I want to do this one. Some of the double one, I do feel a little bit more with my glutes. I think maybe it's a flat balance thing. I'm not really sure. But it's just a little harder to get my mind in the muscles when I'm doing it one at a time. I don't know, you guys might have the same experience. It's up to you. If you were to do this double leg version, I would do a little one and a half, a little extra pump at the top, okay? It just does help me get right into those glutes. That's important, all right? Let's go, 20 more seconds, working each side, pushing through that heel or those heels of the supporting leg. If you're doing single leg, draw that knee to your chest, push up and out. All right, good, we're getting about eight seconds, and then we got our push up. All very good, 8.29, 11 minutes to go. Guys, doing great, good, stop. Stop, enough. Okay, good, back to push-ups, back to push-ups. Choose your version, right? Hands elevated, feet elevated, okay? Again, I've said this before, if you're gonna choose on this one, here's your, here's your shoulder width position. I want you to take your hands and go, a hand spread out from that, okay? There's your position, all right? So here we go, let's do it. Down, halfway up, all the way down, all the way up. Down, halfway, down. Continue through that. We got another 15 seconds to go, okay? When you're coming down, it's just like what's great about working in this way is these movements are kind of mirror images. We want those shoulder blades to come back and push up. We want to get that contraction, not unlike what we get in the Superman. All right? Good. Stop. We've done 30 seconds. Good job. Okay. There's those three. There's those three. Okay, so now we go back to movement number one in that series. The handcuff Superman. The handcuff Superman, okay? So here we are. Come on down, check your feet, make sure they're in rudder's position, balls of the feet. Take the hands forward, palms facing, thumbs up. Take the head, face it toward the ground, take those arms out, big arc, ah, squeeze oranges underneath your armpits. Weird image, but it works. Come to the uh, lower back, then back to that position, squeeze those lemons, or oranges, or limes, or any other Grapefruit, citrus fruit, whatever you got. Underneath your armpits, squeeze them. Then here, flip them. When the arms come in, you should feel, okay, the glutes are on, everything's working. 
We're getting that back to turn on. Flip it. And here, flip it. To the front. Good. Keep going. Hey -ya! So good, my friends. So good. Keep those back muscles alive. You're going to feel just like a totally different person. Your old chest is going to be more open. Your shoulders are going to be centered. It's going to feel really, really good. This, these Superman movements are tough, but they're great. Okay? Let's keep going. Let's give it seven more seconds for the last one. Then we'll just flip it over to that hip extension. Three, two, one, stop. Good. Okay. Let's go over into hip extension. So on the back. On the back. Bring the feet in close. All right, here we are. Uh, either one foot or two. Again, I'm working with two because I just, I just feel it more. It just seems to make more sense. Come up, push. I think what happens is my lower back just gets really fired up when I'm doing that single leg version. The lower back works in the double leg, but that doesn't seem to doesn't seem to take over in the same way, right? Let's keep going. Whatever version you like, if you want to do single leg, that's fine with me, as long as you feel it in the muscles. You want to feel it in the muscles. All right, let's keep driving. Keep driving, keep killing it. Now finally, just about the end, and the light actually looks normal. How about that? So <laughs> I'm kind of tripping with this light thing. All right, let's keep going, five more seconds. And we'll finish with our push-ups in this. This is all very good, very good. Seven more minutes to go. Good. Stop, stop, stop. Okay, good. Push-ups. All right. I'm going to do push-ups on the floor flat. Okay. Remember, just because your mask two feet wide doesn't mean your hands have to be two feet wide. Your hands should be one hand width outside of shoulder width. Okay. So here I am. Let's start it up. Ready? Set and go. One and a half if you got it. Now you might be getting really tired. You might be like, I can't hang with this. So, so many options. I've gone over this before. You can either just hold this position, right? Hold this position, working my postural muscles, tucking the pelvis under, keeping the head back. That is a great movement just in itself. Or I can do that, all those things, but move my scapula together, my shoulder blades together. Or I can do a half push-up. I can do a full push-up. Or I can do what we've been doing, the one and a half push-up, all right? So you make the call, right? Just make sure it looks good, it looks athletic, it looks like something you can control. Three, two, one, you're done, good job. Well done, go ahead and have a drink of water. Take a little break, it's 834, we got six more minutes to go. We do just a little more core work, and a little more core work, maybe a little bit of power, okay? A little more power and plyo, okay? So you've taken your, your drink there, so. We're gonna go into a little more core stuff here. Let's do a tight rotation because it's a little more active and we've been on the floor quite a bit. So take your feet, they're parallel, they're shoulder width, but they're, or sorry, they're wider than shoulder width, about shoulder width and a half, maybe two shoulder widths. You're gonna drop into a stance here, drive the riding of horse. Take my hands, glue them together, prayer position. Then take the arms forward so I have a little longer lever arm, okay? My shoulders are down, again, I'm still in that nice low uh, horse riding position. Now, Practice this. Rotate the shoulders without rotating the hips, left and right. Okay, just a little bit. You're in a narrow hallway, okay? Just touch either side of the narrow hallway with your hands each time. That's the move. Now we're gonna do it accelerated. We're gonna do it super fast, okay? We're just gonna do it for about 15 seconds. Let's start now. Left and right. Breathing. Drop the shoulders. You will feel this in the abdominals because you are decelerating that rotational force each time. Let's keep going. Five seconds to go, all right? Quick, you wanna go fast, left and right. Bam, 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 bam. And time, good job, nice. Okay, <laughs> great. Let's just do a quick high knees here, okay? Very simple high knees. Now look, if I'm tired, I can't hang, that's my high knees. If I'm a little less tired, that's my high knees. If I'm feeling amazing and 100%, that's my high knees right there, okay? Whatever you got, we're gonna do 15 seconds. So not, not super fast, okay? I mean, not super long. So do what you can, let's go. Going fast, quick off the floor. Quick. Use your hands to help you go. All right, keep going. Three, two, one, stop, good. Take a breath, 15 second breath. breath. We're gonna go back to tight rotations in 15 seconds, all right? Here we go. Find your nice horse riding stance. 
Get those arms extended out. And here we go, left and right. Quick deceleration each time. Good speed. Keep going. Here we go. Three, two, one. Time. Good job. Stop. Breathe. You see, they're 15 seconds bursts. So you want each one to be super powerful and athletic. Don't make it into a, okay, how long is this going to take? All right? Go fast. Here's our high knees. Starting in three, two, one. Let's go. High knees. Crank it. Pop off the ground. Go fast. Go fast. Whatever you got. Use your arms to help you go fast. Keep going. Four seconds. Three, two, time. Good job. Breathe it. You got one more round. One more round. Hopefully everyone's heart rate is up. We want that. We want our heart rate up. Three minutes to go. 30 seconds more work in that amount of time. Here we go. Starting in three, two, one. Tight rotation. Commit to good form. Even if you're tired, find that good form. Find that extension of the arms. Find those down shoulders. Find that quick change of direction. Do what you can, always. Three, two, one, stop. Good. One more 15 second burst on the high knees. I'm tired, hope everyone else is tired too. <sighs> All right, high knees starting in five seconds. Here we go. Breathe. Three, two, one, let's go. Last one. What do we got? What do we got for 15 seconds? What do we got? Go for it. Push it off the ground. Go for it. Go for it. Go fast. Go fast. Good. Three, two, one. Done. Good job. Have a drink. Take a breath. Nice job, everyone. That's not easy what we just did. We have remaining needing time, 341. Okay, good. Enough time to take a breath and to um, get a stretch in. So we need our chair again. This time we need a chair that has a soft surface, okay? So if you need to orient your camera so that you can, um, you can see what I'm doing, or so you can be on a soft chair, that's cool. Here's my soft chair. We're gonna go, we're going, going to go into what's called a couch stretch, which I do often with my live boot camps. Some people remember those. The knee is gonna be on your chair, like that. Your foot on that leg is gonna go back up the back of the chair. So we're looking for a deep stretch right here in this uh, quadricep slash hip flexor area. If that's agonizing, if you're like, oh my God, I can't handle it. Just take that knee and slide a little bit forward. It'll be a little easier for you, okay? Don't hurt yourself, okay? So deep breath should be nice and warm by now. Make sure your lower back isn't going to a crazy extension, not a big, big arch there. So take the pelvis, tuck it under a little bit. Send your, your uh, tailbone through your legs and that will tighten up that, that will give that muscle a little bit more deeper stretch. Hold on to that, okay? Deep breath in and out the nose. Slow. Each time you exhale, try to go slightly deeper into the stretch. Ten more seconds on this side. Great one for the lower back right here. Good. Now slowly come out. So bring the hips slowly, slowly forward. Release that stretch. Come, come out. Shake out just a little bit. Feel that the two legs now feel a little bit different in a good way. Now, take the second knee. Let's put it on the seat of the chair close to the back of the chair like this. And take the top of that foot, put it up the back of the chair. So we're like peg leg, right? If you got, if you got arms on your soft chair, that's so much the better. You can give yourself a little stability and even additional stretch going back. Okay, once again, find that deep breath. Slow breath out. Each time you breathe out, try to push a little bit back so that your, your butt goes toward the heel on that side. Deep breath. Only slow. A couple more seconds here. This is a great one to do at any time. Anytime, good, slowly come out, release that. Ah, good, all right. So what's cool about that one 
is it releases the tendency to tilt the pelvis forward like this. It allows you to bring the pelvis into a neutral position, which tends to feel really good in the lower back. How are we doing for time? Less than a minute. Okay, guys. Less than one minute. Let's just take a couple deep breaths here. Zoom's probably going to cut me off. I just want to say thank you for being here. Your body thanks you for being here. I apologize for the mess at the beginning, but there we are. Take a breath in. It's live TV, right? Breathe out. Bring the arms down slowly. Focus on slowing that breath. Come down. Feet 